me start with you, uh, Mr. Pollack. Uh, you have heard uh, um, the opening statement of my good friend, the ranking member. You've heard criticisms uh, from others uh, challenging this legislative proposal that would subject the regulatory and supervisory functions of the Fed to the congressional appropriations process. Um, could you respond or would you be willing to respond to the critique uh, that uh, subjecting the, the Fed to the appropriations process would politicize the Federal Reserve System or compromise, quote, Fed independence? Chairman, I would be very happy to do that. Uh, let me repeat to begin with that the Federal Reserve is a creature of Congress and should be a creature of Congress and accountable to the Congress and uh, the uh, power of the purse is the fundamental power of Congress. In this way, I, I think the proposal takes us to exactly what the constitutional design is. Uh, that is to say, the Congress responsible for the definition of money and the management of money in which the Federal Reserve is its helper. Uh, and the notion that the Federal Reserve or any government body should be independent of the Congress uh, is, in my uh, opinion, a grave uh, and very uh, costly mistake. Uh, thank you. And I, I would note that that legislative proposal does, does not um, tinker with the uh, monetary policy functions of the Federal Reserve. It, it relates specifically to congressional oversight of the, the, re the regulatory functions and operations of the Federal Reserve. Um, could, you, could you comment also um, on or elaborate on your testimony that dispersed power is important for, monet for a monetary policy authority? Um, and whether the legislation under cons consideration today can provide for a, a more fully informed monetary policy. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think the um, uh, fundamental truth that has to be confronted, as I tried to suggest in my testimony, is that everything about monetary policy and the economic and financial future is subject to extreme uncertainty. It is not a matter which can be delegated successfully to experts. Uh, and it doesn't matter how many hundreds of economists the Federal Reserve hires, uh, they, they don't get it any more right than anybody else does when it comes to, to knowing what should be done. Therefore, in my opinion, diversification of the Fed's intellectual uh, and informational uh, deliberations is essential. That's the, the, the uh, single best thing, in my view, you can do uh, to combat the fundamental uncertainty and, and uh, having the federal system with all banks involved, uh, and I think all banks voting uh, also uh, makes sense, uh, as well as empowering the other governors, the non-chairman governors of the Federal Reserve uh, to carry out their own research and projects helps in that intellectual diversification. You may still not get it right, but at least you'll have a, a greater variety uh, of, uh, of thought uh, and of information uh, uh, to help in your in your efforts. Thank you very much.